home here with 1NZ Luke Brown here to defend his title at the final night of the Gara 16 New Zealand Modified Championship. How are you feeling about tonight, Luke? Yeah, it's kind of uh, pretty surreal. Um, you know, 12 months ago we did the job at Waikaraka and I don't know, we're here again and it's just, yeah, give it a good crack. Yeah, well I've seen you uh, working around your car today, you look like a man on a mission, you're definitely not here um, to play games, you're here for a serious, serious racing. Um, so um, what are your plans for this evening? Yeah, mate, I'm not here to put shoes on centipedes. Uh, yeah, I guess um, with the points over three format, you've just got to move as many spots as possible. Um, we've got grids 14, 4 and 13, so it is what it is. Um, everyone's kind of probably has their ideal grid drawers. Um, you just have to make it work and going into, I guess, race three, you'll have a bit of an idea of who's where, but yeah, we'll, we'll just give it a good crack and see how we go. Sounds excellent. You probably would have been sick of being asked this tonight, but how were the nerves feeling? You got that title to defend, and you got a, you're a marks man tonight. You wanted to defend that title. How were the nerves? To, to be honest, not as bad as probably what I would, I would have thought. Um, maybe because we're just so busy kind of doing setup and preparation, but yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of on the mindset it is what it is. Um, if it's your night, it's your night. You know, you could have everything right, the setup's good, you got new tyres on, the engine's running well, and you know, there's an accident in front of you, you can't do anything. Or on the other hand, you could have three races, everything goes your way. So um, we'll definitely give it a good crack, but it's kind of, it is what it is. Um, and I guess we'll see after three races how we get on. Excellent. Well, for the last 12 months, it's been an excellent ambassador for the sport. So all the best for tonight and good luck with your defence. No, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, so we've got the 2NZ here, Gary Parker. Got the 2NZ on the car, going to be looking to go one better for tonight. Oh, I'll take anything that's going tonight. It's going to be quite a battle, actually. And this is our first time talking with uh, Garrett 16, so where are you actually based out of, Gary? I'm based out of Pukekohe, and I race for Huntley Speedway. I used to race in Auckland for a number of years, quite a number of years. Have you spent much time at the track here at uh, Max Motors Wellington Family Speedway? No, I only come here for the New Zealand titles. <laughs> Absolutely, mate. And um, uh, how was the car last night? Um, uh, everything ran all right? Um, you, you obviously qualified? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We, we, we're quite happy with the car. Um, we were trying different things out. We don't want to overcook it on the first night or cause damage or do anything silly. It, tonight's the night, so you know, a, a couple of little risks here and there, maybe. Yeah, absolutely. As with all meetings, we have got um, we've got a meeting over um, over two nights. Every track reacts a little bit differently. Um, there was plenty of grip out there last night. It'll probably slick up quite a bit tonight. What's your thoughts on the track that you've seen out there so far? Yes. Well, yeah. It, Always the first night ain't like the second night, every night's different and no, no matter what happens it's going to be different, you know, it's just the way it is and everybody's got the same race surface to race on so we all have to be clever and try and pick the right track. Absolutely, well it's a pleasure to meet you and all the best tonight for um, obviously you want to be defending the position you're in but uh, Gary will be going to try and get one better and put that one NZ on the car, good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. Right, I'm here with Jamie Fox, the three NZ on the finals night of the Garage 16 Modified Championships. Jamie, how are you feeling about tonight? Yeah, pretty good. We um, we went pretty good last night, so uh, if the track's the same as last night, we should we should uh, be in with a shot. Perfect. And um, I did a little bit of research and looked through all the results in past years, and your name keeps cropping up again and again. You've had several New Zealand titles. You've been on the podium more times than I can count. I think possibly one of the most successful modified drivers um, that I've definitely seen. Uh, what's your secret to success, mate? Ah, oh, I don't know. I suppose you just keep persevering. You know, it's uh, we got a good crew and a good car and a good team, so good sponsors. Um, everyone plays a part, it's not just me, but um, yeah, I suppose we've had a bit of luck along the way as well, but you know, we, we just keep battling on. Well, you're definitely a formidable character, all the drivers know who you are, your name always prop, uh, pops up as the man to beat. Um, what does a 1NZ title tonight mean for you? Oh, you know, it means a lot, that's uh, obviously why we're here, and um, you know, the great the great drivers of this class have won, won five and seven titles, you know, like I'm, I'm lucky to have won four, but um, at the end of the day, as long as I'm still going, I want to win, so, you know, what, what, what comes will come, you know, that's the way it is. Excellent, well, we definitely look forward to you um, going for that number one spot tonight. All the best, and I uh, hope you do well. Thanks very much, thank you. Okay, Jacko, one hell of a first night to the New Zealand Modified Champs for you, mate. Yeah, she wasn't the best one, was it? But um, I don't know how the hell it happened, but I qualified with two DNFs in a first, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. You were way up front in that um, in that last race, so that was absolutely great to see. But um, one hell of a team you got here. There was a fair bit of damage after that um, first big incident. We were watching them beaver away. They did a bloody good job to get you back out there. Yeah, mate. The crew, oh, they deserve their beer last night and today, to be fair. I mean, we've got a body that sort of looks like a car, so, yeah, a couple of road signs. Imagine. And uh, how's the feeling with the top two inches, mate? Just uh, just another meeting, get in there and do it, or are those nerves starting to pump the big day of the New Zealand Championship? Oh, there's always nerves. I don't know what, what it is. I always get nervous on any meeting, and um, but hey, it's just another meeting, and you just got to, I mean, try and treat it like a normal meeting and just enjoy it, really. So absolutely. So you just tell yourself, well, I got rid of all of my bad luck last night, so today's my day. Yeah, mate, that's the go. Awesome. Well, all the best. It's a big day today. Um, all the best, Jacko, and I uh, hope you have a really successful day. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Okay, Vince, this is it, mate. This is the first heat of the finals. This is the opportunity to win the Garage 16 New Zealand Modified Championship. That's the one. This is what it's all about. This is what the drivers have come for. Tonight is going to be a heck of a night of action. There are going to be absolutely no prisoners. There certainly isn't. We've got 20 of the best drivers from around the country. It's not qualifying night anymore. This is the night that you do it. It's all or nothing. So it's going to be interesting to see how these drivers go with all the different factors like grid draw, just general luck. Sometimes you just don't have luck. There's all sorts of factors that go into possibly putting that 1NZ on your car as we see Luke Brown, the current 1NZ, coming around the first corner now. He must be nervous. Yes, he must indeed. We've um, chatted to him, but uh, he's, the nerves hadn't kicked in when we spoke to him, but they must definitely be by now. He's got a point to prove and a point to make. It's going to be a good evening, but look, 20 cars on this track. What a sight to see. Absolutely, especially given the attrition rate last night. It is actually awesome to see that the full field is able to take part. So. Um, this is going to be absolutely awesome action. And we've got Steve Thompson from Greymouth sitting in pole position with Dean Owens from Wellington in second. He certainly is. And Jason Kalen in behind there as well as Jamie Fox, a former New Zealand champ. So coming around now. Okay. Excellent. All right, let's go racing. Dean Owens, what an excellent start getting in the front there. Just... Oh, she's very, very tight with 20 of these cars on the track. Look at this. This yeah, is amazing. Yeah, three wide going around that turn. Absolutely. Don't worry about just an outside line. There's three lines at the moment. Lots of push and shove. Oh, oh and the Luskin goes round. Oh, and Brad Lane just managing to avoid that carnage there. Absolutely. Is that going to bring out a yellow, or did they manage to carry on? Looks like they've managed to carry on, but I would love to... Oh, no, no, they haven't. No, they've pulled the safety flag, as they should. The car's stranded on the side of the track there, so... Let's take a little bit of a look about at what happened going into that corner. Oh, just a little bit of push and shove, really, all the way around, and Brad had nowhere to go and pretty much just turned Blair around, so that looks to me like just a straight-out racing incident. Yeah, not a great start for Bill Luscombe tonight, unfortunately. He wants to capitalise on these points when he starts in good grip positions, and now he'll be at the back. Yeah, and absolutely, and... Um... But isn't it lucky for Brad Lane, a hopeful to be the champion this evening, managing to avoid that? Yeah, here's a replay of the start from on board with uh, Jonas England, a little bit of niggle there and, and stuff, and oh, and definitely a little bit of a push from Damon, hurry up Jonas, off we go, sort of thing, so gee, but she is pretty tight in that pack with 20 cars on the on the track. Yeah, certainly, we've got a great angle there as well. All bunched up, what a view. Okay, so they're coming back round now. They're forming up, ready for the restart. It is Dean Owens, the Wellington man, sporting the Garage 16 emblems on them. We couldn't be prouder about that. And um, looking forward to seeing whether or not he can hold things out for the first heat. But hold the phone. Buns of Pierce, it looks like he has pulled into the middle of the field. Could this mean the end of his evening? Oh, I hope not. Bunter is an absolute star of this class and a bloody good racer, so be in. hopefully that is not it for him for the evening. But coming around now, ready to take the green flag, and Dean Owens is away. Yeah, Dean Owens getting away cleanly there. He'd be great to see, but Jacko looking around to get down the outside of Jamie Fox and 1NZ. 
also around the outside. Oh, I don't even know where to look, but there's just action all over the place. Look, <laughs> 20 of these beasts on the track, look at it. Yeah, and you couldn't ask for a better racing, and it's only just the start of the evening. It is just the start of the evening. The 1NZ coming up the inside of Newton Gorge. Jonas England trying to go around the outside of Sean Blowman. Oh, Damon Smith almost into the wall. And Jacko looks like he's taken over Jamie Fox 3NZ there. So Jacko now sitting in fourth place. He certainly is. He is going to be making a move. He did not have a very good night last night, but it looks like Steve Thompson's trying to come up the inside of Dean Owens, but not this time. Well defended by Dean there, but Steve Thompson does look like he has the power to get past if he has enough room. Yeah, as we mentioned before, Dean's been out of the Modifieds for a few years, but he, after a few races in the Modified Super Series, he's really starting to find his form. Yeah, especially now. Oh, he's, Steve Thompson making another move up the inside of Dean, to Dean Owens, but Dean still able to maintain the lead. But could that be for long? Oh, that is getting very tight at the front. Oh, no, we've got Damon Smith has retired from the race. That is a shame. That is definitely gutting for the youngster there. Hopefully he'll be back in for heat too, but that does put a big damper on his chances for getting a number on his car this evening. Absolutely. Yeah, Jason Kalen sitting in third place, holding off the attempts from John Jackson, and then Jamie Fox sitting in behind him too. But Dean Owens out front, looking very comfortable. Yep, Lenny and Niggle back in the pack. Got Luke Brown and Newton and Brad and Jonas all line of stern, trying to gain the positions as they go, and Brad goes round the outside of Newton, trying to go round the outside of Luke as well. Is he going to be able to hold that move? But we're heading back to the front to look at this battle, and the front is continuing on. And finally, it looks like Steve Thompson has managed to get his way around the 23W Dean Owens. Finally, Steve Thompson was ma has managed to go round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. <laughs> nice work there, Vince. Oh, and look, speaking of the outside, Brad Lane has found that high line and he is looking to deal to the 1NZ and take that place, but Newton's sitting there in the background and he'll take advantage of any opportunity that comes his way. Yeah, Brad might think he's battling with Luke at the moment, but Newton's got other ideas. He's not giving up on this and he's right in there battling with them. He certainly is. This action's absolutely incredible. Potentially a couple of favourites for the championship here. Battling it out, but looks like Luke's made a slight mistake going into turn three. And Brad needs no further invitation. He is going to take that spot, maybe. Yes, he has. Oh, that was very tight. Looks like Dean is being attacked by Jason Kalen here. Jason Kalen on the inside, on the inside, on the inside. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> So Jason Kalen doing, doing really well tonight, obviously had that car hooked up. No one doesn't want to qualify and have to go into a rapid charge, but has already given him a little bit of experience on the track tonight, and he is showing the value of that. That's right, the track is different from last evening. It's always different for every evening, so could he have a kick start and a bit of a bit of an advantage on the other guys here? It was seeing the way he's driving at the moment, that might be the case. It could be. Still pretty bunched up in the pack there through the middle, but there's still plenty of opportunities for passing. We're 15 laps though into this first 20 lap heat, and Brad Lane is going around the outside of Jacko, almost with the 3NZ in there as well, ready to take advantage. He's taken head three places since the last couple laps. That's absolutely insane. Oh my goodness, Brad is absolutely on fire. And this is at the business end of the field as well. It's not like he's at the back overtaking these guys. He's overtaking people in fourth, fifth, and sixth position. He's now sitting in the fourth and attacking Jason Kalen for that third position. Absolutely, and winning a New Zealand title is not something you just get, it is something that you earn, and I know the lanes have been trying for a very long time, so Brad is definitely going to have a good crack at it tonight. And Brad is a very exciting driver to watch race as he's passing Dean Owens on the inside, moving into third place. Yeah, so all the way around the outside for all of those other passing moves, and then just jinked to the inside and took that position. Maybe Dean wasn't expecting that. but. But we're forgetting Steve Thompson because Steve is just simply nowhere to be seen. Looks like he's got the pack well in his rear view mirror. Absolutely. So it just goes to show with Speedway, look at that. He is miles out in the front as he starts to come round for his last lap. What a drive after a difficult evening last night. It looks like he is going to win this first heat. This man all the way from Greymouth just cruising around now. He'll be loving this final lap. He's got no one in his sights behind him. And he's come around the last turn to take the cheated flag. He certainly is. 
And there is Steve Thompson in first place. And we'll wait a wee while because place two is a wee way back. Jason Kalen, Ben Brad Lane, and looks like Jonas England has managed to sneak up to fourth. Wow, Brad Lane and Jonas England, they certainly climbed a heck of a lot of places in that race. Okay, so let's look at the heat one results. Officially, we have got Steve Thompson, Jason Kalen, Brad Lane, Jonas England, Dean Owens, Jamie Fox, Michael Gawley. Yes, indeed. If, and if you want to read the next list out, it's going to come up shortly. Uh, we did have a couple that didn't finish, and those are Damon Smith and Bunter Pierce. Definitely not good for them. No, not good for them at all, that's for sure. Especially with Bunter Pierce being a two time New Zealand champion as well. Yep. Okay, so the fastest lap was a 15.4 by Blair McPhee, so that is actually a little bit slower than what we've been seeing on average, but there's no denying the fact. Great race from Steve Thompson. Looking at the leaderboard, 20 points for Steve, he'll be stoked with that. You couldn't ask for a better start, literally could not get a better start than that to the evening. Puts him in a great place for challenging for the top spot this evening. Certainly does. And there's a few guys a bit further down the field that are going to want to be having a better result in Heat 2 to keep their chances alive. Yes, I'm here with Steve Thompson, that first heat, what a start to the Nationals mate, how are you feeling? Yeah good mate, good, I knew I knew when we were in there getting our grids I needed the front row to mess all the stuff, get a good start, yeah got past Dean Owens. Yeah perfect mate, you started on a pole yeah and Dean Owens took you, um, but um, you managed to get him back and you opened up the gap there so awesome start to tonight, you'll be um, after that 1NZ title for sure but now won't you? Yeah, yeah that's right, now just going to stay out of trouble, pass cars and bring it home for the coast mate. Excellent, well I know you're a busy man so we'll let you go but we look forward to seeing what you do for the rest of the night. Absolutely, talk to you later, thanks. Awesome. thanks. Alright Jason, you had a good start to the night coming first in the Ripper Charge, you started in fourth in the first heat and you came in second place, how are you feeling about tonight so far? Yeah, yeah well, it was not much better than last night. Um, no, track was pretty good, all my car was pretty suited to it and um, I guess running that Ripper Charge I had a little bit of an advantage over the other guys that hadn't been out there tonight. Um, so I knew the track was going to be pretty up top, so I didn't go up there too much, um, but um, I found a good line down the bottom that no one was running because it was stayed wet the whole race, so um, hopefully too many people will stay out of that and I'll just stick there all night, but no, nah, happy with that, good start. Yeah, excellent start indeed, and definitely proving the point that you definitely belong in these finals after going to that rapid charge, so excellent stuff. You had um, Jamie Fox breathing down your neck there for a while and a few other guys as well. How, what, was that playing on your minds at all? No, I got, I got Jamie on the start going into turn one. I knew um, he's going to be down low, so I just hooked it in there and uh, kept the foot down and um, yeah, just drove around him. And, and I know he was going to be right there the whole time, ready to pounce. So, um, it, But you can't afford to um, drive defensively, you've got to attack the whole time. and. Um, so I just yeah when I just got behind Dean and Ian just kept on attacking. There's no point in trying to defend your position, and um, yeah no pretty happy good start. Well excellent start. We look forward to seeing what uh, what else comes in store for you tonight. Yeah hopefully we just uh, keep on going and keep it on all four. That's the aim. Awesome thanks mate. Okay. Cheers guys. Brad Lane, what an epic start to the national finals. You started in 11th place and you came in at third. How do you feel about that? Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, we got a little bit stuck there and a bit of carnage at the start and obviously got put back to I think good 14 or 15 I was told and it's time to pull the elbows up and get on with the job ahead. Yeah, excellent. So you managed to avoid that carnage which was good, uh, but you did get relegated a little, a few spots, but you managed to pull through. Um, how, what was the secret to um, your success there? You are on the outside line a lot, just, just seeming to take over people as though they were standing still. What was up with that, mate? Yeah, sometimes you sort of just got to, you know, move up a little bit further than what other people do on the track just to see if there's anything there and, and there sort of was. It wasn't great, but obviously the more you get on the loud pedal, you either go one way, you either go backwards or it starts going forward. So got on the pedal and, and she started moving forward, so we're pretty lucky there, but we had a big vibration on the back and at the end of that race, so hopefully it doesn't hurt us. We've had one hurt us before in a national title and we probably should have won it, but we ended up with a DNF, so fingers crossed it all holds together and we go from there. Well, it's very exciting to watch you drive. The crowd loves it, so good luck for the rest of the night, and we look forward to seeing what you can do. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Jonas England, 17W, Havana Coffee Modified. You started in 18th place. You finished in fourth place. What an epic start to this evening. How are you feeling about that? Puffed. <laughs> yep. No, it was, a, it was a good race. Um, worst start. Uh, had to make some moves, and um, yeah, had to do it. Then or then, never. Yeah, well, it's <laughs> making some moves, and then there's making some moves, mate. You moved up through that field like they were standing still and it was amazing to watch. So how do you think that um, affects your chances for the 1NZ title tonight? 
mate, still a long night. We still probably won't be able to here till after one. Um, still two more races. Um, yeah, we just plug away at it and give it give it our best. Yeah, well, you seem to be on form at the moment. We very much look forward to seeing what you can do tonight. Um, good luck and uh, make sure you preserve lots of energy for the next races. Yeah, mate. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, uh, thanks to Garage 16 for uh, sponsoring us and uh, thanks to all the rest of the sponsors for getting us here. Cheers. Pleasure. Thanks, mate.